Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Zorin OS 17 versus Linux Mint 21.3. And right off the bat, you can see here that Zorin OS has an option for NVIDIA drivers to where on the Linux Mint side we don't. We do have compatibility mode. I'm going to go ahead and kick off the installers and I will rejoin you there. And we'll just kick off both installers. Select English. Since we've got the third party software on the Zorn side, we'll go ahead and get the codecs on the Linux Mint side just to keep it even. Erase the disk, yes, continue. Since they're both based off of Ubuntu, the interfaces here do look very similar, you'll notice. And this is the portion of the video where I'll speed it up. All right, I'm gonna shut both of these down and I will meet everyone back at the login screen. All right, we've made it to the login screen. I'm just gonna log into both of these. Both have a welcome screen with a tour as to what to expect and how to navigate each system changing the appearance and whatnot. We'll change both to dark. We'll leave Zorin blue and with Linux Mint we'll make it green. And I'm gonna go in here and change the background real quick to make it green as well. And the first thing I like to do is just to go in and check for updates. And we'll let the Zor inside cache its software store. All right, so Zorin is good to go. On the Linux Mint side, we do have a few updates. I'll speed this up. All right, we'll do a speed test. Keep in mind, both have had their updates, so nothing's pending. Should be a fair test. Oh, 
That was fairly close. And under software updater, additional drivers, that's where you would have your NVIDIA driver if you needed to select it to where on the Linux Mint side, it's under driver manager. So just in a different spot, but they both do have a driver manager. All right, we've got the system monitor open. On the Zorin side, the CPU zero, there was a little spike there up to five, but between one and two, 3%. On the memory, it's 1.7 gigs. On the Linux Mint side, one, two, three percent on the CPU. And the memory is 1.1. And we'll do HTOP. One thing I'll say real quick, on the Zorin side, I did have the option to install the Snap Pack, which I didn't do. I'm just using apples to apples, so we went with the um, Debian package. But if that's a showstopper for you, if you don't want snap packages, then Linux Mint would be the distribution you'd want to pick. Uh, Zorin does come with snap packages. But uh, here's the H top on each. The Zorin side, the CPU is between 1 to 3%. Memory is 1.29 gigs. Same thing on the Linux Mint side, CPU 1 to 3%. Uh, the memory is significantly lower. It's only 843 megabytes. And we'll take a look at the file managers. On the Linux Mint side, we've got Nemo 6.0.1. On the Zorin side, we've got Files 42.6. All right, and here's the system settings. Uh, they both have backgrounds, notifications, sound, power management, displays, printers, and then the about and the system info. So just the difference here is the Cinnamon desktop environment versus a modified version of GNOME. All right, let's take a look at Firefox, which would help and about. Help and about. And we do see on the Linux Mint side, we've got 121. On the Zorin OS side, we've got 121. And that's the flat pack version. The Linux Mint side has the Deb package version. Okay, and to install packages on Linux Mint, we'll go to Super Software Manager. And on the Zorin OS side, we'll just click on software that's pinned on the taskbar. And if we were to search for Inkscape on both. We do see we're presented with the flat hub version on each. We can switch to a system package. That's going to be the dev package on Linux Mint. And on the Zorin side, we have options for snap packages as well as the Debian package. They both have a gallery a description, file size, and version number. And if we go to about, on the Linux Mint side, we've got Mint install 8.2.9. On the Zorn side, we've got software, and that's from the GNOME project, 45.2. All right, we'll look at the system tray on both. If we come down to the bottom, we've got our show the desktop. So if I just open up a few windows here and we'll cascade them like that. And I click on the show desktop button. It just hides all that and shows the desktop like it says. And you click it again and they come back. And then we've got our time. We click on that. We've got our calendar and our events and our date and time settings, our volume, network connection, I've got a, uh, my Ventoy plugged in, so that's just our removable drives. We could click that and eject if we wanted to. We've got our shield for updates, and then this little system reports. Okay, you can, you can uh, install language packs and set up a time shift um, restore point. Right on the Zorin side, we've got our time and our date. Click on that, you've got our calendar, notifications, and a do not disturb button. Click on this, we've got our power, lock the computer, settings, 
take a screenshot, volume, network connections, our power profile, night light, and we can do dark mode or light mode. All right, we'll do a Neo fetch. On the Zorin side, we've got kernel 6.2, Linux Mint 5.15, which is what 21.x shipped with. So no surprise there. And then packages, we've got 1901 Debian packages and 17 flat packs. To on the Linux Mint side, we've got 2171 Debian packages. Uh, the bash is the same. Desktop environment, Zorn OS uses GNOME 43.9, and that's a modified version of GNOME. Uh, to where on the Linux Mint side, we've got Cinnamon 6.0.2. And the memory on the Zorn OS side is basically 1.5 gigabytes to where the memory on the Linux Mint side is 900 megabytes. So big difference there. And as far as release cycle, uh, from what I've gathered, Zorn OS comes out with a new version roughly every six months. Um, and version 17 is a long-term support version. Uh, 21.3, it is a long-term support version as well. The point three is the last in the point release. So the next version of Linux Mint will be 22. All right, let's take a look at the wallpapers. On the Linux Mint side, just right click, change desktop background. Zorin OS, right click, change background. And they both have some pretty cool wallpapers. I like this mountain one for the Zorin side. And then Linux Mint, I've already changed it to green. Um, go with that one. And if you haven't already, please be sure to visit the GPU giveaway video. Just leave a comment with what you're thankful for. I'm giving away three AMD 6600s. Don't miss out. And that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you found the video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.